Good morning, YouTube. Whew. Bit of time after the show now. It's now, this is Sunday. A whole week later. Can't believe where it is. A week gone after my show, it's crazy. It's gone so quick. Anyway, we're still gonna get one vlog out a week. No excuses. And I wanted to vlog this morning because it's 4.45. I need to get my workout in. There's no excuses. People say to me they haven't got time. I haven't got time to go to the gym. I haven't got time to prepare food. I don't care. What you do is you make time. You make it. Today I'm at work all day. And I'm out of friends and family. I won't get back till late tonight. So there's no time there's literally no time to work out there. But no excuses. Like I say, 4.45, I'm up before work, getting a job done. Not because I, not just because I have to, but because I want to. I know my improvements that I need to do from last week. It's time to work on them. There's no time to start like the present. But a little bit of time off the diet, relax a little bit. Uh, the day after anyway, I was back on it again back on it again last week and another photo shoot yesterday here's some of the pictures and now I'm just off to smash a chest and shoulder session at 4.45 might not film it, might film a little bit but I just wanted to vlog this this morning because to tell you that you make time you make time, no excuses. See you next clip. Let's get benching, no head pressing. I'm extra motivated because this tan is still looking nice and strong and it makes you look more cut. Just competed in bench press, now for some overhead press. This week, excuse my cheesy music, this week I'm going to be just training what I want to train, just enjoying it, hitting up different uh, muscle groups, hitting up different exercises, getting a pump, using all the uh, extra carbs I had last night as well and just enjoying it and then Tuesday on Monday, when the serious stuff starts, new goals, new targets, new macros, but I'll discuss all that after the workout. Overhead pressing. Man, it just feels so good getting a, such an early workout done. I feel wide awake now. Whilst everyone's still in bed, it feels pretty good. Anyway, that's what I'm going to vlog today. I'm going to pick this up Tuesday, but give that workout a go. And I'll see you Tuesday.
Good morning, YouTube. It's now been a week since the moment. I wanted to um, discuss today that like the battles after a show I mean sometimes you get the post comp blues um, it's impossible to maintain a stage physique unless you want to lead a very boring lifestyle and just have no life whatsoever um, usually after a show you see people they binge out they eat loads and loads of junk they consume alcohol and their body just changes within like days weeks and then they look in the mirror and then mentally it's just so hard to handle you go from being absolutely shredded to like oh where's it gone um you just can't maintain it it is impossible you just think you've been in a calorie deficit for weeks leading up to the um, show sometimes like months and then all of a sudden you're going to go and binge out fast food, high levels of fats, high levels of uh, carbs, high levels of sodium. Of course your body's just going to want to draw it all in and it's just not going to use it very well. It, like I said, it's going to happen no matter what, but you can control it a little bit. And of course, like after the show, have your cheat day, have your get it all out of your system. But a few days after the show, I highly suggest that you really try and keep at least one eye on your training and your nutrition um i've got the experience now of five shows so i feel like this show was the best i've coped after um probably because i knew what to expect and sometimes it's hard to explain to someone how to approach it after a show unless they actually do one so they can experience it for themselves because after you, of course you just want to binge out and just eat all the foods that you've been craving and all, you've been so restrictive to yourself you just want to get out of your system um, but the more you can control it um, and stay on top of your training then mentally wise when you look in the mirror you're going to feel a lot better so what I found useful this prep is I have this, prep, this post comp prep I've um, gently editing calories and kept my training up high so I have added on 200 250 calories to what I was doing for my competition prep um, just add it all in through carbs a little bit through fats just so I can be a little bit more flexible in hitting my macros hitting my targets and just so I can enjoy life a little bit more mentally I feel great because I look in the mirror and I can still see a six-pack obviously I can't see a show ready physique I'm not shredded to the bone but I'm still in good shape um, which still motivates me and then whilst I'm at the gym because I'm eating a little bit more my workouts are solid I'm enjoying my workouts I have the energy um, I'm fueling my system afterwards I managed to eat more foods um, I'm doing it in quite I'm still doing it in a very flexible way so if I want to have a little bit of chocolate or a little bit of sweets then i just fit it into my daily macros and it's still working out fine training wise i'm really enjoying my training because obviously i have the energy like i just said um pumps are good um i do suggest you keep on top of your training what i've done this week is i've pretty much just done whatever i wanted to i've been last week i enjoyed myself just went in the gym yeah like chest and biceps the classics um just get a pump enjoy training burn off as many calories as possible maybe if you wanted to keep a little more cardio in especially if you're going to be having days after the show where you're going out with friends family having special occasions celebrating if you had a good result um maybe keep in the cardio then 
and, and actually just obliterate your workouts just so at the end of the day your or the end of the week your total calorie intake or total calories can, within input and output doesn't look stupidly too high um, and there's, you can definitely control it if you really want to just to keep that nice balance of enjoying training, enjoying life but also mentally wise going to look into the mirror and you still feel very happy with your physique because if you let it go trust me you can get into a very dark place and it's not good I've been there before don't let it happen try and stay controlled try and stay on track try and stay on top of your nutrition after all this is a lifestyle keep it that way anyway what we're going to be doing future vlogs I did enjoy making the 12 week vlogs 15 episodes in total I felt like I in terms of my YouTube career, if you like, that was my most successful. I got the most subscribers through doing this. Um, it's not a lot, but every video hit over nearly over 100 views, so I'm happy with that. Um, I want to keep it going whilst I feel motivated. Sometimes, sometimes you don't want to make a YouTube video; you, you, can't, you can't be bothered, and you can end, end days. But whilst I feel motivated to make them, I want to keep making them. Try and get one out a week. Um, I'm going to be going on a holiday in three weeks time so I like to vlog still going to vlog my weigh-ins my physique updates excuse that dirty fake tan on my physique update still still trying to scrub it off but it's just not happening um, hopefully that definitely come off in three weeks before I go away um, yeah keep filming the weigh-ins keep filming the physique updates next week I'll discuss with you what I've done with my calories and what I'm doing with my training but yeah, I just want to keep up the vlogs. Um, I hope you joys. I hope you joys. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. I've been getting some good feedback from them, and you, some of you, find them very useful. So whilst I'm motivated, I'm going to keep doing them. So thank you for watching today. I hope my 4:45 a.m. session on Sunday motivated you to get up and go and get a workout in. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to hit like, leave me a comment, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next week for the next vlog. See you then.